Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. This is a four-hour chart of gold and at last we got to see some recovery, good amount of recovery on the chart of gold. Gold made a high of 1661-1662 yesterday and right now gold is standing at 1654. So the rally, the rally was uh, unexpected for many people and I have received tons of emails and messages asking me the reason. Okay, uh, before I proceed with the chart, I would like to tell you one thing, my dear friends, that before a rally or before any move, the chart tells you from beforehand only. And those who are connected with me personally, yeah, I have already informed them in the morning that if you look at the overall chart, if you look at the overall chart you'll see that market is going down with big big swings but when we consider or if we simply focus on this particular portion of the chart here then we could see that that unlike the previous time market was forming small small swings okay, so this kind of swings generally signify the um, the presence of new buyers the entry of new buyers in the market anyways let's uh, get back to the main topic first of all let's look at a chart of dxy so yesterday we saw a good amount of uh, correction on a chart of dxy dxy was standing at 114.76 and ultimately ultimately we saw we saw a good correction but still still dxy is still maintaining maintaining the uptrend and we can see that um, almost from the 23.6 percent fee bonus and retracement level dxy has bounced right now standing at 113.27 so overall the uptrend is still intact but the correction was seen and most importantly most importantly there was a correction on the chart of us government bond this the uh, chart of candlestick chart of US government bonds and you can see that government bonds were rising okay so usually whenever the bond prices go up we usually see the price of gold going down so gold was going down bond was going up and yesterday we saw a massive massive correction on the chart of bond as a result we saw a good amount of correction on the chart of gold so dxy has already bounced okay listen to me carefully now dxy has already bounced from the fibonacci 23.6 percent and the the overall uptrend is still intact if we look at the government bond chart then we can see that though we do not have any proper support here but still still uh, the chart is somehow trying to take support and it is approaching the 50 moving average if we consider the history then we can easily see the 50 moving average is or has been acting as a very strong dynamic support for the bond chart and moreover around the same level we also have Fibonacci 23.6 percent retracement level so strong support in the form of moving average that is providing support to the market for last few weeks and months and in addition to that we have uh, Fibonacci 23.6 percent on the chart of bond so if we combine both the factors here then yes there's a high chance that the bond will be going up again and experts are also of the opinion that uh, though there was some temporary recovery on the chart of gold but we must not forget that the gold is still in downtrend and this is the reason because we can see that there is a high chance of bond taking support let's wait and watch this is market full of surprises so my dear friends please protect your capital do not gamble with your hard earned money anything may happen okay market is extremely volatile for the these days now let's have a look at the chart of gold first of all if you are holding if you are holding any selling position or short position right now from here be on the trade no need to exit from the market okay but during the day uh, especially during the european session and your uh, u.s session if we see a green candle again if we see a green candle again okay and those who are planning to take a buy okay listen to me carefully those who are planning to take a buy here okay during the european session or u.s session if you see market breaking the level of 1662 and going up 
if market breaks the level of 1662 and going up you can consider a buy position uh, you can take the additional confirmation from the dxy us dollar currency index or the uh, bond chart the us government bond if you see that the correction is going on on those those charts then you get the additional confirmation that yes the road is clear for gold and you can take a buy position above 1662 okay the resistance for you okay the resistance for you will be around 1688 why 1688 because you can see uh, we have Fibonacci replacement level and as well as previously 1688 has also seen strong price rejection from above so if we combine both the factors here so in this overall downtrend market we can expect that market will um, market will reverse the trend again and we may see a good amount of selling from here so if market goes up if market reverses from 1688 level we can definitely take a sell position okay so these are the um, trading opportunities if market goes up clear okay. and if market goes down if market goes down then first first support is 1651 but keep in mind 1651 is uh, is not a reliable support not a reliable support why because you can see the 1651 okay 1651 uh, is the first support from uh, first support and most importantly market is in downtrend we must not forget that and already we have seen the DXY and uh, dollar bond chart has already approached the uh, support zones so 1651 is not a very strong support if you are a daredevil kind of a trader if you are a risk taker if you have additional capital with you to take risk then you can go for a buy position otherwise please avoid it okay we have second support around 1644.50 um, that is also a minor support but if on during the day okay especially during the day if you are looking for a buy position and from where you can expect a temporary bounce the support can be 1638 1637 1639 that particular level can be a temporary support from where you can expect a bounce if market goes down if market goes down from this current market position so if market reverses from 1637 38 level you can expect a bounce of at least uh, 30 40 pips and you can consider a buy position but with proper risk management okay because we have already seen heavy volatility in the market and as a trader our first responsibility our first priority should be capital protection we must not forget that do not gamble with your hard money be a trader not a gambler okay so if market goes down also and right now if you're holding any sell position beyond that trip but if you're considering a buy position again i'm saying repeating 1637 38 39 can be a good level from where you can expect a temporary bounce okay uh, before that we have 44 51 those are minor levels you can just expect a small bounce if the volatility is very less okay not if the in case of extreme volatility obviously these levels will not work after all we must not forget that the overall uh, the trend of the market is very much towards the downside okay so please follow proper risk management uh, calculate the position accordingly bye bye take care